There are national reports that the FBI alerted Garland police to the attack at the Caldwell Center three hours before the event started Sunday, even sending the name and photo of one of the two terrorists to Garland police. Fox 4's Sean Rabb has been talking to his sources on and off the record. Sean, what have you learned? Clarice spoke with just a few moments ago a high-level FBI official in Washington, D.C. He tells me the FBI indeed aware of the risk something could happen here Sunday. It was very high. There were many people that the FBI were trying to track and see where they were as the Draw Muhammad cartoon event drew close among those Elton Simpson and his name along with his picture driver uh, license tags and car description was added to the list of names it was sent to Garland about three hours before all this happened now we reported last night that Elton Simpson had been watched fairly closely since March 10th especially social media but Simpson and the theorist Sufi were traveling in Sufi's car not Simpson so having his license plate would have done no good what we don't know is if any of that warning ever made it to officers and SWAT teams protecting the 200 plus attending that event Sunday FBI sources in Dallas tell me they did not know Simpson was in North Texas and that Nathir the Sufi was not even on their radar. But they did have a command post set up here at the FBI field office to assist with security and response if needed. Garland's mayor told Fox 4 Monday they had no advance warning at all from the government. We had no prior knowledge from uh, Homeland Security, from the FBI, from DPS or anyone else that there was an imminent threat. If there had been, then we would have addressed it differently. Garland PIO Joe Harn held Monday's news conference. I asked him late today if, in fact, they'd been notified of the name of Elton Simpson in the hours before the shooting. His response to me was, we had no idea those guys had left Phoenix. FBI sources also in Dallas tell me they did not know either, but again, they were taking every possible precaution. Uh, they say that there was an increase in social media activity, not an increase in activity, but an increase, Clarice, in activity talking specifically about Texas, not mentioning the name of the city, Garland, or the name or location of the event, but tweets like, make us proud in Texas. But again, no specific mention of the event or Garland or the names of the two men. And Sean, you also had some information about backpacks that were found on Sunday? Right. Sources say there were three backpacks found Sunday, but only two suspects. And that certainly leaves open the possibility that there could have been a third person who, for whatever reason, was not there or that third backpack could have been to hold additional ammunition and maybe other weapons even, Clarice. Okay, but Sean, it still seems cloudy between what the FBI says it communicated to Garland Police and what Garland Police say it was or was not told. Here's what I can tell you, both from local FBI sources and uh, the high-ranking official in D.C. They reiterate to me there was no specific threat. They did not know that Simpson had left Phoenix or that he had traveled here, but they did know from his social media activity that he had high interest in this event. And because of that, he was added to the list. They, they do say his name was sent to Garland in a general warning. We know they had a meeting here on Friday, the Joint Terrorism Task Force. Uh, alerts were sent out, general alerts and warnings. But again, they tell me there was nothing specific about Elton Simpson or the Colwell Center. Of course, all eyes on Garland because of that event, the Draw the Muhammad cartoon contest Sunday. All right, Sean, thank you.